they say life is a journey, not a destination. But let's be real. It feels more like a roller coaster, right? And the worst part, it feels like someone else is controlling the ride. We've all been there. Buckled up in the seat, racing down a fixed track with our parents, teachers, or coaches calling the shots. And honestly, it's not always a bad thing. They help us find our talents through our challenges and guide us on a course that we may not have found on our own. But sometimes things can get a little crazy. And we may be thinking, OK, it's time for me to drive this thing. And that's when things get real, like next level, exciting real. I'll share my own story of how I shift from external to internal expectations. Hopefully, you'll learn a few lessons to take away with you on your adventure of self-discovery. Most importantly, you will learn how to own your expectations. Let me bring you back to a time when I first felt the weight of expectations. It was a few years ago when I first joined a basketball academy. My coach saw something in me. I don't know. Maybe it's my amazing class overs. Well, he wanted me in the starting lineup. I didn't want to disappoint him or my teammates. So I practiced my max every single time. I put so much pressure on myself that I got injured. I was sidelined and I was forced to watch my teammates play without me. Well, now there's no expectations of me making a starting lineup. I was more relaxed, but I didn't stop practicing. I just perfected my layups. Slowly, but surely, I improved. Just about two months, I strained my ankle. I actually made it to the starting lineup. And that taught me an early lesson about expectations that learning to be realistic and adapt to your own strength. Most importantly, to own my expectations. After learning the hard way through basketball, I decided to apply it on my studies. After high school, I planned to go to a good university. Well, this time, no pressure from parents or teachers. Just me and my high expectations. So I have a plan, straight A's. But I still remember a lesson from basketball. So I did a study schedule. That's intense, but not insane. And sliss. I'll do my homeworks, projects, tests, the day it was handed out. But before the day was due, I'll relax, go for a walk with my dog, chill with my friends, just to avoid anything, to be a zombie with a textbook. That actually worked. I had better grades and more balanced, and I owned my expectations. Teenagers today are really struggling because in this world today, it's not just about how we perform in classes, on stage, or on the fields. There's also social expectations, or what we know as peer pressure. And if you want to fit in, we may be thinking, I need to wear the right clothes, I need to have the newest gadgets, or I need to post the coolest photo on social media. But Here's the thing, there's a big difference between 
what we want and what we really need. I see many of my friends struggling to meet these expectations and forgetting about their happiness and well-being. I want you to think of your expectations. Are they pushing you to your better self? Or are they just adding extra stress? Because it's not about having more or less. It's about having what's right for you. Forget the pressure others create for you. Because on your own path, you will find more joy and happiness. Own your expectations. So you can create your own journey, your own experience, and your own amazing story. Thank you. Thank you.